Hello beautiful internet family, my name is Dan from danstube.tv and my main mission on this channel is to help people unlock their creative potential with tech. And today we've got an exciting new drone that's just about to hit the market. It's called the DJI Air 2S. Ooh, <laughs> it's a very incremental upgrade, but it's also quite a significant upgrade. The fact that they haven't called it the DJI Air 3 obviously means that they don't think it's worthy of that next iteration in the number count, which really doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. But we've got so many leaks already. It is pretty much here in its entirety. And that's been quite a big issue for DJI over the last... I don't know, a couple of years now, like everything's getting leaked. There's no kind of surprise release anymore, which is really upsetting for people who enjoy that, but also for DJ as well. So yeah, it's it's here basically. It looks like it's probably gonna come at some point um, through the next month, potentially by the looks of it. And this is the drone here. This is it right here. So if we kind of zoom in here, we can see it's got that kind of, um, the orange tips to the propellers, which could mean that it's a low noise propeller, potentially. Um, it could also just be the fact that they've tried to go with that color scheme. I know with the Mini 2, they went with a similar color tip, basically. They, they went with the orange over just uh, the original propellers that they'd gone with for so long. So this could just be that little like incremental change, you know, that little aesthetic that makes it look different. And then the other thing you'll notice that's really different is the fact that we've now got some obstacle avoidance sensors on top. So it's kind of forming, it's it's going to become a fly soon. They're going to have eyes everywhere, basically. But right now it's looking like some form of flying insect because we've got more sensors on it. And then the one other big thing that you'll notice is the big old camera down here, the big old one inch sensor that we saw on the Mavic 2 Pro, which was a phenomenal camera system, one inch sensor, um, 20 megapixel and yeah, it was great. I really love that drone. So it looks like this is the new drone that's about to drop. And is it worth your time? You know, if you've already got the Mavic Air 2 or well, they've dropped the Mavic name for some reason, the Air 2, if you've got the DJI Air 2, is this worth an upgrade? It's hard to say right now. It depends on the price point. But again, it really depends on what you're looking for out of the drone. I don't think we're going to see anything like mind blowing in terms of like 4K 120 frames per second. You know, we may see that, but from what we can see so far and from what the leaks have kind of shown us, um, we can watch this video here, which we uh, will mute just in case, but here we go. Really low quality. You can see the tips are different. It's got the um, ADS, which is the uh, air sense. Yep. The air sense. There we go. And that's it, and that's kind of all we get out of that little teaser. But you can see, like, either a very impressive render, or someone's got their hands on it and uh, released it early, which is probably the more likely out of the two. So that's kind of what we can see from it. And the other thing that's really cool, so this is Drone DJ. We've also used um, Osita LV. I believe that's how you pronounce uh, their name. They've actually had a lot of leaks in the past and they've been like bang on the money. So quite a reputable place to go to. The Verge have also covered it, a massive company. And then we've also got Digital Camera World. So just so you know the references that I'm using. And the thing that I found really interesting was actually on Drone DJ. So they're claiming, again, we don't know any of this, but they're claiming that it will be compatible with the version two of the FPV goggles that we recently saw with the FPV drone. But the more exciting thing is this, the fact that it has motion controller support. So if this is real, then that's going to open a whole new exciting space because a lot of drones that have come out from DJI do have the FPV capabilities. But to be able to control it with your little motion controller and your headset, um, but have the safety of a DJI drone, you know, it's probably not going to be an FPV drone. It's not going to be flipping through the air and doing crazy rolls, it's just not gonna be doing that. This is more of a cinematic drone. But to still be able to have that precision with a motion controller and the immersion of a headset is gonna be amazing. Like this is gonna be really exciting if this goes ahead. Um, the other thing that I found really interesting, so we, we, it looks like it's gonna be a one inch sensor. Based on this photo here, you can see one inch, 20 megapixels. It looks like the exact same camera system, which is the Hasselblad camera system that we saw in the Mavic 2 Pro, which like I mentioned before, phenomenal stuff, like just 
such an amazing camera system. So if that's the case, that's going to be really cool. Also, the Verge do say here that it is going to be compatible with the new DJI accessories like the version 2 goggles and the motion controller. So the Verge have also obviously received from one of their sources this information as well. Um, and then as we scroll down here, uh, we can see there's also support for DJI's newer lower latency OcuSync 3.0. So if that's a real thing, if they bring out OcuSync 3.0 um, to, yeah, because I believe we're up to OcuSync 2.0. Correct me if I'm wrong. I should know this being the drone dude. But I'm pretty sure OcuSync 3 would be new. So we might get better range on that again. That would be crazy. Um, and then the battery capacity is uh, 3,500 milliamp hours. It does seem to be slightly heavier than the Mavic Air 2 by 30 grams. So only slightly heavier. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what they've got. And then on Digital Camera World, they've got a very similar kind of thing. I think down here they were mentioning a few other things that we might see. So that was it. So the eight gigabytes of internal memory, which is actually a really nice feature, you know, not just for people that forget their SD cards or put it in a different device or whatever. You know, it's just like the SD card at any point, the micro SD could fail at any point. I had that literally a couple of weekends ago and I had to go out to a store and buy a micro SD card because I didn't have that internal storage. But to have even just eight gigabytes is so handy, you know, like you can actually capture the moment you might miss that moment you might not be able to get that back again so i think that's really cool um and they also believe it's going to feature intelligent hdr as well uh, like i said before 3500 milliamp hour battery and weigh just 600 grams um so the thing down here so it looks like it's going to feature spotlight 2.0 point of interest 3.0 and active track 4.0 so it might kind of be like a lot of you know, you'll have the, the improved camera, you'll have that um, upward obstacle avoidance. It's almost that kind of omnidirectional uh, avoidance, but it doesn't have the side avoidance by the looks of it. So still a very safe drone with lots of avoidance sensors everywhere. Um, but it looks like they might be trialing a lot of these features. So they're gonna trial like OcuSync 3.0, Spotlight, uh, Point of Interest and Active Track 4.0. Um, and it might just be kind of a software heavy update with a tiny improvement to the hardware because overall the body of it looks very similar besides those sensors on top and obviously the different camera but very similar in that regard the other thing which is what kind of dji promised uh i don't know when i think it's from 2019 maybe or 2018 they said um every drone from this point on will have the um adsb which is the automatic dependent surveillance broadcast so it basically just lets you know um yeah, it alerts pilots that they are straying into the path of airplanes. So it lets you know as a pilot that, okay, well, be careful. Like, watch out, land, move out of the way, whatever it is, and respect the air. Because obviously there are more drones in the air now than ever, and you've got to be careful. So I think that's really cool. That's another thing that's, you know, we kind of just expected that to come out um, with every drone moving forward. And that's kind of it. Like, that's all we know so far. You know, when you look at this image here, like, this just it looks exactly like a perfect render you know this is clearly going to be the next thing we've already got a video on it and we've got this crazy render like there's no way that this isn't going to happen um and they've decided for the air 2s which i find a little odd like you know the mavic 3 could have been a possibility mavic pro 3 or mavic 3 pro you know we saw the mini 2 and before that we saw the air the air 2 so like to go with the Air 2S, it seems a little early in its lifespan to upgrade, but it must be a really popular drone or maybe they've decided that this makes the most sense for them. Whatever reason it is, I'm really curious to see what the price point is. It's obviously gonna be cheaper than the Pro, it has to be. Um, so it could be a really good option for a lot of people out there. But that's what we know so far. I'd love to know in the comments below. What do you think? Is this gonna be a worthy upgrade? Are you gonna get yourself the Air 2S? Or do you have something else that seems a bit more appealing, a bit more ideal for your needs, let me know in the comments below. I personally don't think this is something I'm going to buy. I may get a chance to review it or test it, but yeah, it doesn't really seem like a worthy upgrade for me at the moment. And I'm sure a lot of people are in the same boat. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, as I really focus on helping people unlock their creative potential with technology. It's something I'm, I'm really trying to push. I'm going to have a lot more like uh, creative content around like mindset and creativity so expect some really interesting content coming to the channel very soon anyway have a fantastic day and peace out